What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. So we have the Spider-Man Supreme Boss in Cavalier right here. And hopefully I can help you uh, figure out how to fight him. Because uh, he's actually not too bad. Uh, so basically what's going on here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read the nodes really quickly. Uh, just so we can figure out what's going on. Because there's some pretty important nodes uh, in this fight. So there's four nodes. The first node is called Root or Rooted. So every 12 seconds... Uh, the attacker will be passively rooted, and if we are far away from him, uh, the defender will gain rooted. So there's something uh, you need to pay attention to uh, in this fight. So basically, you want you see that timer right here, the great timer? Uh, I will be far away from him when this expires, and I will not get rooted, he will. And keep, keep, keep in mind what he's doing here. So he's always trying to go for a heavy attack while he's rooted. So that's a really nice way for you to gain openings and a really nice way for me to build up my cards with Joe Vixen. So another note, whenever uh, you have unblockable, unstoppable, indestructible power gain or evade, he will gain the same version of that buff for 10 seconds. And, he, and the power gains he gain, uh, he will get, gain will, will be 10% of his max power and there will be a 20% chance for him to evade if he gets an evade from you. Then there's feats of strength, so while at 1 bar of power he gains a fury, while at 2 he gains precision, while at 3 he gains cruelty. And then lastly we got Bobby Weave, so all of his attacks are guaranteed crits unless you dodge or intercept one of his attacks. And this can, uh, the, he can crit you through the block as well. So keep that in mind, because uh, he kind of hits hard if he hits you in the block. Uh, but I just read the nodes and the fight is almost over. So let's just go. Um, let's go for it one more time. So Joe Fix It is actually really decent. And I'll explain why. Okay, so let's let's explain one of his uh, Spider-Man blessings. So you can see Astrofoam form cooldown. So we triggered his miss with our first medium attack. So you can see now it's on cooldown. It's grayed out. And once this comes back, our... The first time we deal or we hit him with a with a medium attack, we'll trigger his miss. And we'll go for the petrify and I'll explain why it's good. So I'm gonna bait that special too, pretty easy. It reminds you of Nimrod, um, really easy dex, just a little bit faster. But now I'm gonna parry and go for the medium. And that's gonna trigger the miss again. So avoid intercepting that way because he activated he activates it even before you hit, so he will retaliate. Now he's rooted, so it's free openings. You can go uh, here. I build up my cards really quickly with medium mediums. He's only gonna go for hero attack, so it's pretty safe. He's not gonna go gonna throw a single special. And that's that's pretty good, man. Uh, just you gotta pay attention to that cooldown. And once it's about to happen, just parry, go for your first medium attack, and then you will not have to worry about the miss for uh, like 10 seconds, I think. Or you can even use some of that uh, that can bypass his miss. Uh, so that's really good too. But it's only, like, you can see it's on cooldown right now. Uh, we're playing really well for that miss. You gotta just pay attention to that timer. And then also the root timer. So every 12 seconds. And then when his miss comes back. Uh, so yeah, beta special 2 again. Really easy to dex. Uh, literally exactly like Nimra. Just a little bit faster. You get those free openings with root. Now I saw that the miss was coming up. So I just waited out. Uh, we go for another combo into the special 1. And now we're gonna play this fight one more time because I want to explain another of his uh, spells, his blessing. Uh, blessing is what they do. Okay, so playing this one more time just so I can explain what the uh, orange uh, spell, a uh, blessing, does. Uh, so basically, uh, it's how it has to do to do with those purple buffs that we have, the spider seals. So we gain one of those buffs for our first medium attack of the combo. And each time we gain one buff. So that's how you get them. And he activates his spell once it goes to uh, 10. So once it goes to 10, he will activate those or that uh, orange spell. And what that does is basically uh, it lasts for 20 seconds and his combat power rate is reduced by 70%, but he gains 25% of max power every nine seconds. And that is Ha, that, is, that is where the petrifies from Joe Fix It come from. So once he's got that, his power gain is reversed. Like if you can see his power, he, he's slowly reversing because Joe Fix It is re reducing it by 80% with a double petrify. And also, I forgot to mention, each time you trigger uh, his miss, 
blessing he gains chunk of power as well he got like uh 33 of a bar of power so that petrified can reverse it as well so Jofix is really good for this he's got the healing he's got the petrify for that power gain he's got the damage it's actually really handy for him to be rooted because i can just build up four of my same cards and it allow me to get petrified really really quickly and yeah that's it that's pretty much for spidey just be careful of his miss unless you have someone that's uh bypasses miss and then also be careful of his crits into the block and his power gain once he's on that blessing as you will get those 20 buffs but now let's talk about the best counters for this guy okay so one of the best counters uh because this guy is mystic we have human torch so we all know that human torch is a beast uh against mystics and this guy has no way to bypass that yeah uh, just you use one pre-fight with human torch you will have a very very good time then also uh we have void so void has that petrify which is good for his power gain and it's also like he doesn't have any buffs so he cannot generate any of the same buffs you have like uh for example i tried using daredevil right here he's he can uh, evade projectiles like his special one is like uh, some quick projectiles and then one that you can uh, definitely avoid it really fast just the first one is just like two quick ones uh so you can evade those and then basically because you, you evade that uh he gets one of one evade effect and he's got a 20 percent chance to evade after the special attacks lasting for like 10 seconds which is a bit annoying but he works because he cannot miss so he can definitely work just gonna slow you down a bit and then we have also that daredevil that cannot miss as well but for science champions avoid using champions that have regen or power gain because he will get some more power unless you can have someone like quicksilver which can like apply withers and you can reverse that you can have joe fix it uh for the petrify and then also uh you can you can bring someone that doesn't gain buffs uh and then you, you just don't have to worry about anything or you don't you don't only have to worry about his one blessing which is uh basically there's three blessings the one is uh when you when you hit hit, hit him with a medium attack he actually that miss then there's the other one where he activates it for every or the 10 if you have 10 of those buffs that he's got the spider i don't know how they're called spider seal buffs i think if you have 10 as a defender he activate it, activates it and then you'd have 20 as an attacker and then the other blessing is that if he hits you with a heal attack so it's pretty smart that they added that route because if he hits you he will activate the other spell but you won't have to worry about the uh orange spell which is the buff one if you use someone spider-man like, like uh, someone like spider-man 299 which you cannot gain buffs and that means you won't activate the the spider uh blessing which is the uh power gain one because that power gain 25 percent of max power over nine seconds it's really quick like i i died on stream and i didn't know what what uh where that came from so joe fix it definitely helped me with reversal void will help you spider-man 299 is really really good for that so yeah not too bad just have to worry about that root uh you definitely don't want to get rooted because he will he will hurt you for sure <laughs> so you yeah, guys let me know what you think about spidey uh and hopefully this video helps you take him down and if you enjoyed this video please give it a like subscribe and i will see you in the next one